Modify Element is a multi-purpose modification tool that is used to change the spatial coordinates of an element's geometry. You can find the tool on the Home tab in the Modify group. In this lesson you will learn Modify Element Tool. With the Modify Element Tool you can do specific modifications to an element depending on the element type, such as move a vertex or a segment of a line, line string or shape, Resize a block about the opposite vertex. Modify rounded segments of complex chains and complex shapes created with the Place Smart Line tool. Change the circle's radius, modify an arc's parameters, and change the type of vertex, sharp, rounded, or chamfered. The tool settings of the Modify Element tool change depending on the element or vertex selected. To get started, Open MicroStation Connect Edition and on the work page set the following Workspace Bentley Connect Training, Workset MS Basics. Click Browse and open Learning.DGN from the backslash MS Basics backslash DGN backslash 08 Modifying Elements folder in the course dataset. By default, this data set is installed at C colon backslash Bentley Connect Training backslash Worksets. Open the Models dialog by clicking on the Models icon in the Home tab in the Primary group. Open the Modify Elements model by double clicking it in the list. In this series of exercises, we'll modify the elements on the right half of the model to match that on the left side. Let's start by zooming in on the cyan lines. Select the Modify Element tool and move the vertex of each of the three lines to snap to the center of the star configuration. Next, we'll change the radius of the red circle. To change the radius of the red circle on the right, select the circle with the Modify Element tool. The Polar AccuDraw compass appears in the center of the circle. We key in the new radius of 17.1 in the Distance field in the AccuDraw dialog and accept it with the data point. Notice how when moving the endpoint of a line or changing a circle's radius, no tool settings are available in the Modify Elements Tool Settings window. Next, we'll modify the vertices to rounded corners on the two line strings. With Modify Elements still active, we click on the corner point of one of the green orthogonal complex chains on the right. Note how the additional tool settings appear in the Tool Settings window. Move the pointer and notice the different behavior of the modification when you toggle the orthogonal tool setting on and off. Release the vertex with a reset to keep the original vertex location or undo if necessary. Next we'll tackle changing the sharp vertex into a rounded one. We click on one of the corner points again. In the Tool Settings window, change Vertex from Sharp to Rounded and set the desired radius, 16 units in this case. Next we're going to expand the Tool Settings and set Vertex Settings to Last Used. Returning to the geometry, we snap to the corner vertex we played with earlier. This is how you change the vertex type of vertices on complex chains or complex shapes from sharp to rounded or chamfered. It's important to note that you cannot use construct fillet or construct chamfer on complex elements. Let's finish up by modifying the remaining vertices on both line strings. Pay attention to the different radius on the inner line string.
Finally, we'll show you how to change the complex shape using the Modify Element tool. With Modify Element still active, snap to the midpoint on the orange arc that is a part of the complex shape. In the tool settings, ensure that the method is set to Radius About Center and move the pointer. This modifies the arc's radius without changing the center point. The Polar AccuDraw compass displays and the focus is moved to the Distance field in the AccuDraw dialog. Key in the new radius and accept with the data point. We snap to the midpoint of the orange arc again and change the method to Radius Preserve Ends. This method modifies the arc by changing the radius, but keeps the two endpoints in the same place. Reset to release the complex shape. In this lesson, you learned about the Modify Element tool. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.